It is a night in full storm, dark and cold. A young woman is lost in the woods, searching for something. She seeks out Batram's Maw, a famous mercenary band that is encamped nearby. They are miles away from the black tower that stretches high into the sky. Atop the tower lives a woman, some call tyrant, some call deranged, some call a witch, yet all know her by her self-styled moniker, Goddess. That was really quick. Hey everyone, this is Chaos Blue, and I am doing a let's look at... Wow, that's loud. I need to turn down my headphones. That's better. I'm doing a let's look at of a little game demo for a little project that one of my friends is doing. Like, really little. Like, anyway. But it's, but it's fun, and I thought I would do it. Or at least I hope it's fun. I haven't actually played this before. But it is definitely short. Um, in any case. Let's get going. Damn it, the storm is getting worse. I can barely see anything. I'll never find Batram's... That is actually, wait, Bartram's Maw, right? Yeah. I'll never find Bartram's Maw Yeah, this way. I'm soaked, freezing, and now I'm lost. Sounds like a bad day. Okay, so two things to mention for this. First of all, um... My recording program does not really like this game very much, or I say this game, but it doesn't like a lot of things very much, to be honest. It it gets along fine with emulators, and that's about it. So, I found a way that I can fix the damage it may do, but that has limits. So, if th the quality on this video is lower than usual, and I mean in terms of actual video quality, because the audio should be fine, then that's why, and sorry about that. Second of all, I'm playing this on my keyboard, so if you can hear keyboard noises, sorry, I can't do anything about that. Um, pretty much. Uh-oh, there's a pit in the pathway up ahead. There's no way I can make that jump. Apparently not. Good thing there's a handy boulder here. That did it. Seems like it. How convenient that the boulder was a perfect fit for the hole. I mean, had it been even a little bit larger, it would have just blocked the path, and then we would have had no way to get past. Oh great, a log is in the way. This path definitely doesn't look well used. Now I'm really lost. I guess we can push the log though. Is that a rat? That's a rat, isn't it? Yeah, it's a giant rat! I guess so. Okay, so we can run and we can do combat. We have weapon power and tools? Why do we have- oh no, it's willpower. Apparently... Oh, okay, I can see how this works. The tools are like, they use up tool power, I guess. Um, bandages we can only use out of battle, and wow, I have a lot of HP. And we can throw knives. What does willpower do? Shield blast, bash, bash even. Weaker than a normal attack, but lowers defense for three turns, and it's expensive. So, let's just attack. It's just a rat. Hmm. There's kind of a pretty big disparity between us and the rat, isn't there? Seems like it, anyway. Of course, having said that, the rat hit us, so... And then it died. Rat meat? Really? What are we, dwarves? Damn it, now the wildlife is attacking me. I've got to get out of this forest. Items. Rat meat. A small sliver of meat from a dead rat. A commodity to be sold for... I guess that's a form of money. Sign documents admitting you into the mercenary group Bartram's Maw. Okay then, uh, we can go this way. Is there anything over here? No! 
but there's lightning. Uh, hmm, some vines. It doesn't look safe, but this is the only way to go. I guess so. I mean, if she says this is the only way to go, I have no reason to disbelieve her. Is that a box? I bet that's a box. Must look in box. Five ducats were found. Alright, I needed some money. I was broke. She is not kidding. I think it's fair to say she was still broke if this game has... Well, come on. Five. There's no way five goes far. A rope ladder. I must be on the right track then. The camp has to be around here somewhere. Do you get that from a rope ladder? Because the vine, log, boulder, hole, and rat say... Other well, to be fair, the rat could easily have been on the path, but... I digress. Stop right there! <gasps> Is it a ninja? <laughs> no, I don't think so. This camp, this is the camp of Batram's Ma. No outsiders allowed on grounds. Except for those with expressed permission. State your name. You can use the escape key to backspace. How nice of him to, t to whisper that to me. Odd that backspace doesn't backspace. Let's see. Hmm. In honor of the game I am playing right now, I mean, I would take one from Final Fantasy, except that, honestly, I, well, on second thought, in honor of the other game I'm playing now, let, no, I, I can't do that. Prowl. I'm sorry, Kryl, but your name is freaking stupid. This name, on the other hand, is not so stupid. No, not Farin. Ferris. There we go. Does this mean I need to talk like a pirate now? Well, insofar as I ever talk like a pirate, I do not have a very good pirate voice. Ferris, huh? Sounds like a fishy name to me. I have recruitment papers. I've been expressively invited to the band to f by a former ranking member. That was pretty wordy. Let me see the letter. Okay. Hmm. Everything looks to be in order here. Well, little lady, I've got one very important thing to say to you. Yes, one very important thing. Welcome aboard! Ha! Sorry for being so serious and official. I'm really a nice guy who wants to get to know me. If you say so. I mean, I have no reason to disbelieve you. I guess. Now let's get out of this goddamn rain. I'll introduce you to Saska. I think she's been waiting for you. Wait. You knew she was waiting for someone? Presume? Ah, uh, just... Just... Ah. She usually shows the new recruits around. Come on, follow me. Actually, I just had a thought. I have a level! Okay. Thought over. Mostly. I didn't get any experience from the rat. That is lame. But I guess understandable. Guess I gotta stay and keep guard. The rush light sounds so warm and cozy right now. So you're Ferris? Good! I've been waiting for you. Glad to see you found this place in the storm. Right, close enough. I know, it's her I know it's a bit remote. Mercs don't get to pick where they set up camp though. That's for the war to decide. Or more accurately, whoever is in charge of you, I suppose. I'm Saska, they call me the Butcher. <laughs> She's so non nonchalant about that. Who would actually just say that to someone as an introduction? I mean come on. It's hilarious, and yet. That's a violent sounding name. <laughs> Don't worry, it's because I handle fresh meat. The new guys! You, I take care of the new recruits! Ah, uh, a likely story. 
Ah, uh, well, nice nickname. Ooh. Yeah, you'll find a lot of us guys have we weird nicknames. Some pretty weird ones, too. I don't care, it's appropriate. You'll get used to it. And maybe even a nick. And maybe you'll even get a name of your own. Ha! <laughs> Sounds fun. True. One of the few fun things about the war against the goddess is yelling, Hey, shitface! The captain wants to see you! There's a shitface? Seriously? Somebody has that nickname? Oh, you're gonna be fun. Now let's get out of the rain. I'm freezing and this fire ain't doing anything for me. There's an inn and pub called the Rushlight that we set up, up camp around. We're using it as a base of operations. It's not far. I'll meet you there. Okay then. It's a warm fire. Feels so good. Oh hey, I can run. That's convenient. Why do I have to stay outside? Everyone's in the pub. Where are you going? Uh, the pub. Gah! Everyone but me! Sucks to be you. <laughs> he's sleeping, and it sounds like he's talking in his sleep, too. Zzzz. Zzzz. Hit it. Don't look. The crack in the wall. First floor. This is getting oddly specific. Um. It looks like he's fishing. Doesn't he? Doesn't see me. <laughs> I better get out of here. Worth it. It's my job to make sure nobody steals th these piles of wood. You're not here to steal my wood, are you? Um, I think he can probably kick my ass. So, no, your wood is safe. Good to know I'm doing my job as the deterrent of a would-be wood thief. I see what you did there. Somebody let the fire go out. It rolls over, wagging his tail. It really likes you! Yay! The rushlight. I guess we should go inside. Wow, look at all those NPCs. Hey, Ferris! Up here! On the balcony! Who are you? Welcome to the Rushlight! Have fun, but not too much fun. You merc types are a handful. I'll be watching. I guess he's the bouncer. Start one fight and you're out. In case... In case you didn't want company... Oh wait, no. In case you didn't notice, I don't want company. Go away. Okay then, spoil sport. So, what do you think about this war we're in? I don't think we should fight? Or... Well, I don't know anything about her. So... Do... I don't know. Do I seem like the the uber pacifist is despite all logic type? Uh, no. I really don't. I push a guy into a, a river just... Or into a, a lake? Pond? I'm going with pond into a pond just for fun in the middle of a storm, so we have to fight. The goddess will stop at nothing to destroy the land. Glad to see your heart is in it, but please don't call her that. She's just some upstart. Nothing godlike about her. I'm sure people said that about Kefka as well. This guy here really hates it when you refer to the Upsur as goddess. You can't blame him. How self-obsessed must a woman be to just up and call herself goddess? Okay, dictating the plot right here, we totally become the new goddess. I'm calling it. Make it happen, dude. 
Hey there, I'm Bucket Clay. Yeah, I know. We've got some weird names for ourselves. You'll get used to it. Let's see, you look like a Crazy Sam. Or a Knife with Sa Hook Sally, maybe. It's just Ferris. Or, if you prefer, the Dread Pirate Ferris. E either, either is acceptable. Hey there, so you're the new recruit. I just saw Sassy go up on the balcony. You should probably go have a drink with her. You see that guy in the corner by himself? We call him Harry Dog. Big trouble. Best stay clear of him. And then there's Rhaegar. Over there with the green hair. He's trouble too. Actually, there's a lot of people that are trouble here. <laughs> Typical mercenary band, I suppose. Where did all these soldiers come from? I just wanted a simple beer at my local pub. This is what I have to put up with! Hello and welcome to the Rushlight! Care for a drink? I could use one. Uh... I'm not thirsty enough to drink something that's called brown beer. So, I'll pass. It's an open book. I don't know who could read in a loud place like this. Hmm, the food here is delicious! See that girl at the end of the bar? I've been trying to get her attention all night! She doesn't even know that I exist, though! Hey! You right there! Who? Me? Ah, that didn't come out right. Yeah, you! Of course I'm talking to you! You look new here! You new here? I think she's new here, Rhaegar. Shut it, dunce! I was talking to the Broad! So, Broad, you new here? Yeah, I'm the new recruit, and the name is Ferris, not Broad. Or the Dread Pirate Ferris. Again, either is acceptable. Yeah, yeah, you're all Broads to me. I'm Rhaegar, the toughest guy in here. Most dangerous, too. Well, normally those two would go hand in hand, would they not? Is that so? Well then, it was nice to meet you, Rhaegar. Hold on now. Not so fast. Come a bit closer. Let me get a good look at you. I do not want to get kicked out of the bar. So, I will not kick him between the legs. That is really tempting, though. That's quite all right, Rhaegar. I'll just be going now. Huh, right. You'll be back. All the bras are. Sigh. What awful luck. Just think, I showed up here exactly when Batram's Maul did. I can't get a moment's rest. Every man in this place is constantly hitting on me. You know, I want to say this now. Batram's Maul sounds more like, the loca like a location than a mercenary band. But, you know, whatever. You better watch out. Rhaegar here is the most dangerous man in- that's what is what he said. Oh dear, it's so busy here tonight, I don't think I can keep up! I think- I think- I think I'm drunk. Ha 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 ha! This fire sure is warm and cozy, hmm? Nothing like it on a cold, wet night like this. I wish I had a bucket of water right now. Um, <laughs> would you like to sit next to the fire and listen to a story? As long as it's not too long. I may be old and slow, but I take pride in my brevity. Which story would you like to hear? That one, eh? Long ago, a man was born. I say a man was born, and not a baby, because he looked like a man right out of the womb. Covered in hair he was, rippling with muscles, his face adorned by a fl uh, flowing, grandoise mustache. At the age of twelve, he wooed every woman in his village, uh, including his mother? How awkward. At the age of fourteen! He outfought every man in town! He grew up to be a saint 
A hero, beloved by rich and poor alike. A truly great man, surpassed by none. One day, I stole his coat. And that's the history of how I got this amazing coat. Ha ha ha! I like it. Hi, I'm Pip, short for Pipsqueak. I'm the youngest member of the Ma. I'd, I'd love to chat, but this old guy is telling... Telling... Is about to tell a story, I mean. This old man knows all kinds of great stories. Sure, why not? Uh, actually, no. This is gonna be a lo long already, so... Oh, there was a door here, I didn't even notice. Obscene sounds were coming from the other side. How obscene. Hey there, sweet thing. The name's Anastasia. You may have noticed that this fine establishment is patroned by the ladies of the night. I'm their headmistress, their prima donna, their alpha wolf. I take care of them. Everyone's happy. Do you personally? <laughs> You're cute, dear. For that, you'll need to offer something other than money. I've got all the money I need. I would need something else. Something natural. Something unique. Something sentimental. Now be gone. Hey, hey you. You better not bother Miss Anastasia. Okay. Looking for a good time? Okay, I guess they are non-discriminatory. That's good. Oh, hey, I just remembered. Can you help me? I need to get some supplies from the basement. And there's a giant rat down there! Seriously, you're asking me to, to go to the basement to take care of your rat problem? Yes, exactly! Is there something wrong with that? No, nothing wrong with it. Alright then, watch out for rats, here I come. Or, close enough. Can you believe this chump? I've got so much money off him! Can you believe this? The women here are so nice. What a chump. He's completely passed out drunk. Well, I guess I'll help her with her rat problem. It seems like the thing to do. No hidden stuff. How unfortunate. Wait, it's not even a giant rat. It still did a lot of damage though. My willpower seems to be lower now. Okay. More rat meat, I guess. Let's try doing something. Not equipment, uh, skills, I guess? Sure, why not? You feel around the edge of the brick. There's a secret door hidden behind a layer of fake bricks. Cool. It's locked. Uh, nope, that didn't work. I suppose we need a key for this. Thanks, I could just kiss you! But here's some money instead. Okay, I'm still 10 short from being able to afford some booze. What? Really? But I want to check the bookshelf! Oh well. That- this musician is amazing! He hits every note perfectly! Look at this roasted pig! It's delicious! And I'm right in front of it! I feel like the king of this pub! See this fish? My good friend Fisherman Carl caught it earlier. He's the best fisherman I know. He can't swim worth it. Oh. Um. Oops. Heh heh heh. Uh. Um. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk over here now. Hey, this is the player stage. No getting up on it while the musician is paying. There's a cute girl at the bar asking for you. What? A cute girl wants to talk to me? I'm on it. 
Hey, get off the stage! You're messing me up! Where in the world did the stage guard go? Gah! I missed a string! <laughs> this crazy lady is making me dizzy! By dancing around you? Dance with me! Come on, show me how you move! Okay. There you go! Work those feet! I'm who being been working my bop up my what my butt off all day. What I could really use is a good stiff drink. Let me know if you're feeling generous. Maybe we'll share a drink with you sometime. If you say so. This door it, This is the door to the first Floor of rooms. Do you have a room? I do now. Hey, it's a crack. You feel a small pouch. It's full of money! Cool money! These first floor rooms aren't nearly as good as the ones upstairs. I can't sleep on this lumpy bed. And they're communal, too. Hey, look at this weird old key I found in this drawer. Can I have it? I don't know. I guess. It's not like I'm emotionally attached to it or anything. Here you go. Cool. I guess. Oi! Me name's Lord of the Leprous Knave. And this here's me friend, Onion. We're a sticky punch we are, like fine cheese. I'm the official thief of this here mercenary outfit that I am. You need something stolen? I'm the man for the job. Are are you rubbing whole fish on your body? <laughs> that I am, miss. That I am. See, I'm a poor right leprous fellow. What with these open sores and wounds and whatnot. I rub whole raw fish on myself at all times on account of the itching. Yes, I do. It's just something fierce it does. Good old Fisherman Carl keeps me well supplied with plenty of fish. Raw fish he does. Uh... Hey, Onion. What kind of name is the Rush Lifer in anyway? If... <laughs> if I was the proprietor, I'd have picked something that sounds nice and warm and cozy. Like the Slaughtered Lamb. Now doesn't that sound more inviting to you? Just think of it, the Slaughtered Lamb. By golly, what a name! I just know I'd be rich if I owned an inn called the Slaughtered Lamb. You couldn't keep people away from an establishment like that. Um... Yeah, so fun thing about those two characters in the back there, they are basically self-inserts. Well, not self-inserts. They're inserts of some of my other friends. Done by my friend who made this game. Because why not, you know? pretty That pretty much sums it up. And wow, did he take some poking fun at them. You insert the key. It fits! Huzzah! Ten cats. Cool. We have enough to buy a good drink now. Uh, but first, I have a sudden urge to go swimming. Um... <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and run over here. Can I, um... I, uh, um... No, no, uh... <laughs> uh ho hopefully he's okay. Ew. Okay, okay. I've talked to just about everyone at this point, so wait, there's still one more thing I need to do. I need to buy the good drink. One bottle of Maker's Mark. This is the good stuff. Haha! -ha! Well, I have this Maker's Mark. 
I love that stuff, and it's exactly what I need right now. Care to part with it? I'd be super grateful. I know it doesn't compare, but here's some flowers I picked up today. You can have them, hun. You received some assorted flowers. Hey there, sweet thing. Yeah, I already... How about some flowers for my lady? Oh my, a rose for a rose, is that it? Well, in that case, let's get started. Follow me. You're actually somewhat pretty, you know, for a girl. You're pretty. <laughs> and you're good. Mmm, good girl. Now shut up and kiss me. <laughs> and fade to black. Well then, that was amazing. Well, I try. Indeed you do. That was like nothing I've ever experienced. You've taught me a few things. Well, now I'm blushing. Here, take this to remember me by. A lock of her hair, and with that, I've got to get back to seeing the pub floor. See you around. Stop by again sometime. Heh, <laughs> sure thing. Ha <laughs> ha! That is hilarious. Now then. Hey there, I'm the partial owner of this pub. Along with the barkeep down there, I take care of acquisitions. If you got anything to sell, just talk to me and I'll pay good money. It's a bit more quiet and peaceful up here than on the balcony. Or up here on the balcony, and there's the fun and party down below. Or I mangled that sentence. And nope, didn't heal me. Oh well. Did you know you can harvest the materials from animals and sell them for profit? Just the other day, I sold some rat meat to the pub owner for five to cats. Hmm, I wonder what he does with it. Oh well, back to this delicious hamburger. Oh, you. Let's sell some rat meat. And do you have anything to... Are you selling anything? Brown beer. It's so cheap, it's given out for free! It's really watered down. What does this actually do? Well, I have all the beer! All of it! Uh, oops. Right, I'll save that for later. Hey there, I'm Windbag Jack. I spread the rumors around here. You got a rumor to spread, you talk to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look. Uh, you know, since, since you mentioned it, I heard of this rumor that Fisherman Carl, he deserted. Yes, no one pushed him into a pond or anything. You want me to spread the rumor that your that the beloved Fisherman Carl deserted the company? I don't know about that one. Fisherman Carl loves to fish, and the company always is always around bodies of water. It's a never-ending opportunity to showcase his amazing fishing abilities. I'm good at what I do. But I'm no miracle worker. Sorry, but nobody would believe it. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't say. Um. Ugh. Did you know that if you hold down, she I did actually. It's kind of convenient because speed. Uh, yes, I would. No, nothing. I guess it's just a window. Ay, get out! Hey, don't you believe in knocking on what? You say you're busy, but you're on different beds, sort of just staring at each other. I don't think you're actually doing much. A moist towel, a drawn bath, some wine and cheese. If you need anything, just say something. Maybe... Oh, 
Our captain has a room nearby. He spends a lot of time going over books and battle plans and whatnot. What's his name, you ask? Why, Captain, of course. I'm confused. Is this a pub or an inn? I hope it's not a hostel. You know what I heard about this place? I hear it's full of secrets, like secret passages, secret rooms. Me and the boys were talking, and we think there's some hidden... I know, I found it. The walls look really funny when I saw them. Next time I'm down there, I'm going to feel all over them. You do that. This is just a storage closet. If you say so. Right, I think I've delayed long enough. Let's go talk to the girl. She seems to be busy eating and drinking. Great seats, huh? We can see everything from up here! Yeah, nice place. This is where Captain sits when he's out here, but he's usually in his room most of the time. Sit back and have a drink, eat, relax. This is the nice part of being a merc troop. We're When we're not fighting, we're usually partying! Mmm, delicious. I know, the food and drinks are great here! So anyway, who's that jerk who tried to pick a fight with me when I came in? Rhaegar, or whatever his dumb name was? Oh yeah, Rhaegar, what a buffoon! The truth is, he's almost as new as you are! There are different kinds of people in this world. Those who are dangerous that they wouldn't need to say a word. And those who just bark, bark, bark! Guess what, which one Rhaegar is? There's also the kind who talk incessantly. Hmm, he probably feels like he's got a lot to prove. Anyway, I hope I didn't make an enemy. Yeah, for the most part, everyone in Batram's Maw gets along, with a few drunken fistfights here and there. So sometimes, you just get a run apple in the bunch. What about you? What about me? Do you have something to prove? Why did you join up with us anyway? Have a death wish? Ha! No. I guess you could just say I just wanted to join the cause. The goddess wants to destroy the whole land. Why does she want to destroy the land? If she destroys the land, she has nothing to rule. It makes no sense. Batram's Ma is at the front of the battle lines, so here I am. What? Right. What do you mean, right? Look. Why do you think I got this job? Training new recruits is because I'm a good judge of character. I know people when I see them, and you, my dear Ferris, are not really in this for the good of the land. That glint in your eyes, that look, it screams of ambition. You don't want to be a grunt fighting in the lines. You want to make a name for yourself. I can see it in the way you walk, the way you carry yourself. As I said, you can call me the Dread Pirate Ferris. Is wanting success such a bad thing? Sure it isn't! Don't worry, you'll fit right in here. Oh, and I totally forgot to introduce you to our other female member, Sorechucks! Sorechucks? Really? Oh, no, just keep ignoring me. I love being treated as a piece of furniture. Sorechucks, huh? I can take a guess how you got that name. Let's just say I don't take nothing from nobody. You got a problem? I got a sword. And I'm a chuck it in your general direction. Remind me not to get under your bat side. <laughs> Don't worry, us ladies gotta stick together. A bunch of buff boons in this company. Anyone touches you, just tell me. I'll cut them. Sorechucks here isn't in it for the glory. She just likes violence. Let me out of the go goddess. One on one. Three minutes and she'll be red paint on the walls. So you think she isn't human? Or no, so you think she's just human, then? Of course! What else should we be? Would she be? There's no magic in this world, no sorceresses, no warlocks, no gods or goddesses. She's just some war-mongering bitch who convinces a bunch of low lives to take up a sword. For her, while she sits up in her tower doing nothing! Well, I certainly hope that's the case. Why? Who do you think she is? A real goddess? I don't know. The old man down by the fireplace seems to think she's an ex-prostitute who wears rat fur coats and rides wagons up walls. That's just old man Jim. He's crazy. Nobody 
knows the history of the goddess, she just appeared one day. And she'll be disappearing soon, you can count on it. Alright, enough serious talk. Save that for the morning. For tonight, we drink! What should we drink to? Hmm, I don't know, Ferris. What should we drink to? Uh... Here, here! To killing things in needlessly stylish and violent ways! <laughs> you know what the problem with Applesis is? You say something? Their skin, it gets all mushy. <laughs> I have mushy apple skin. I think you got too drunk. I think Sorchuk's over there got too drunk. More like, more like Upchucks. Am I right? Haha, <laughs> Upchucks! Hey, somebody say my name. I'm awake. I just passed out for a while. Well, in that case, how about another toast? Uh, I don't know about that. Come on! The night's still young. The toast is too... Um, it's too... Let me think. Oh? Huh? What happened to the music? Why'd everyone stop talking? Quiet. What? Who is that? I think I can guess. Damn, it's her. Y good evening, Red. How about a drink? On the house, whatever you want. Wow, she looks scary. Water. Sh sure thing, one water coming right up. My god, that woman! She's a giant! And covered in scars! Shh! Keep your voice down! Huh? What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost! Sorchucks, you too? Stop talking so loud! And stop looking at Red! Fine! I'll whisper then! Her name is Red? I've never seen anyone like her! She must be taller than any man in here! Just don't make eye contact with her, please! And those scars, she has so many. What in the world has this woman been through? I think we should just go to bed soon. Wait just a minute. Huh? What's this? Did, why did everyone suddenly shut up? What happened to the music? And where's my waitress? What's wrong, idiot? Ha ha! Get a load of this thing that walked through the door. Is that a woman or a cow? What? Everyone suddenly shut up for this thing. They're actually afraid of her or something? What a bunch of pansies. Just because she had a bunch of scars or something? She probably just slept with a porcupine. Ha! That's probably all she can get. Mm, nice knowing you. Watch this. Hey, you cow. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What's wrong with your face? Did you cut yourself shaving your beard? Hey, I'm talking to you, bovine. I haven't seen you around here before. What's your name, Broad? You think you can give me the silent treatment? I'm Rhaegar. I'm the most dangerous man in this place. And you're probably talking to the most dangerous woman. You think you can just ignore me? Well, I'll give you a few more scars on that big dumb face of yours. Oh, I know what your name is. Ah, so you've heard of me, huh? That's right. You see, there's a reason I came here tonight. For you. Huh? What, what, what do you mean? You remember last night, don't you? You were here. Had plenty to drink, no doubt with your friend here and then you left and went back to camp when you went back to your tent but you didn't go straight there did you what what 
I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, Rhaegar. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. You couldn't go straight to bed. Had to make a quick stop. Had to take that girl and have your way with her. Against her will, didn't you? That's against the rules, Rhaegar. Captain doesn't like it when troops break rules. I, I, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I promise. Oh, Rhaegar. We both know it won't happen again. Ever again. And... Yeah. No more. Please. You. You're his friend. N no You lie. You'll be joining him. No! And with that, I think the night is done with. Wait, what just happened? Who was that? I'm going to bed. Me too. Come on, Ferris. We're sharing a room together here on the second floor. That was incredible. Okay, so there's one more place I haven't checked yet. The third floor. Oh, I guess it's just the roof. Ah, uh, nothing like the open air. What's that? You're wondering why I'm standing on, out in the rain? It makes you feel alive! Just feel that cold splash in your face. Isn't it invigorating? I agree, I feel alive! Cool. What? Wait. There's more- there's at least two fireplaces. They do not line up with each other. And there's only one chimney. I think this building has got some splitting to do. Uh, now where's my room? Over here. I guess all the girls are in the same room. Yes, I would. Sure? Is that it? That might be it. Nope. Sigh. I can't sleep. Saska? Sword checks? Anyone awake? That's a nice sword. Ah oh, well. The storm stopped. I've got to get up. Maybe take a walk outside now that the rain has stopped. Where the hell am I? The night sky is so beautiful out here in the country. So many stars. That woman, Red was her name. I wonder if that's her real name. She was terrifying. And yet, there was something about her. I've never seen a woman like her. I wonder who she was. Or is, even. Imagine, Ferris, just walking into a room and demanding everyone's attention like that. I'll have to ask Sansa about her tomorrow. Well, Night Sky, it was good seeing you. I suppose I'll try getting some sleep now. Hey, sleepyhead, you slept in. I could have waked you, but you looked like you needed some beauty s sleep. Eh. So I let you snooze. We're to report to the command tent for morning briefing. Sorchuk's already left, so let's go! Wait a moment, Saska. Who was that woman last night? Red? We were pretty drunk, but I remember her taking care of that creep, Rhaegar. Oh yeah, that kind of sobered everyone up, didn't it? We call her Red. Nobody knows her real name because nobody ever talks to her. Why not? Did you see her? She's a giant, stronger than anyone else in the company, and she knows how to fight, too. There's lots of skilled, strong members of the Maw in its history, but none like that, girl. Woman, even. What do you mean? See, Red is what you could call the disciplinarian of the company. You can't have a mercenary outfit without rules and order. If anyone does anything really out of line, Captain will call her in. Uh, 
But it's not just that. Well, how do I put this? Red takes care of certain matters that the rest of us would want nothing to do with. Like what? In a word, torture. <laughs> Both for captured enemy prisoners who may have valuable information, and also as punishment for our own troops who commit serious crimes. I see. So, will Rhaegar be whipped then? Put in stocks? Oh, I'm afraid not. Ferris, you'll soon see why everyone is terrified of Red. She's insane! I'm not joking. Come on, let's go to the main camp. You'll see soon enough. Okay, well, I'm not gonna waste time talking to everyone, but... Okay. Because presumably they're all the same as before. And yeah, for the most part that seems, seems to be the case, although it does look a little bit lighter in here now. People still passed out. They're gone. Come on, the main camp is this way. Okay then. Well, it's still raining a little bit, but... Have you seen Fisherman Carl? He went fishing last night and never came back. Um... Err. It's my job to make sure no... Your wood is safe. Hmm, I wonder what happened to Fisherman Carl. He just disappeared. It's a mystery, I tell you. If only fish could talk. Um... Uh, is he awake? He's gone. I'ma just go this way now. Err. Hey there, Ferris. You know anything about wells? This one went dry. The mercenary life sure is tough. These guys are my pride and joy. Without horses, a fighting force isn't up to snuff. And... nope, they don't talk. I don't like my neighbor. He is a real jerk. I decided to try my hand at making a garden while we're camped here. It was an amazing success! Now everybody wants to swipe my beloved fruits and vegetables. The mercy No, I already talked to you. Boy, it's awful camping by the guy next to me. He has no manners. I guess it's a scarecrow. Hmm. I don't think many troops are taking this war t as seriously as they should. The goddess could sneak attack our camp at any moment! Good thing this area is heavily wooded. We've got plenty of materials for building things. I'm guessing this is the cliff I was at in the cutscene earlier? Yep. Cool. Now then. Are you a new recruit? Are you lost? Cabin's tent is northeast. You're on the wrong side of camp! And I cannot enter, apparently. No? Okay. I guess I'll just go over there. I did say this would be a long one, right? Because, yeah, this is going to be really long. Oh, well. Oh, well. This way leads to the camp outskirts, then to the open fields, and finally to the Tower of the Goddess. Just look at that water. Doesn't it just look inviting? You know what I hear? I hear there's a secret pool around here. Natural springs, if you will. They say that that's where all the women bathe. I'm going to find it one of these days. Uh, good luck with that. Hmm. Maybe I should have split this into two. Oh, well. Maybe I will split it into two. Who knows? I sure don't. If I do, it'll be pretty obvious, though. Well, obviously it will, because it'll just sort of end and start. But what you gonna do? Kev's got the best tent of the outfit. Makes sense, I guess. Thank you for your report, soldier. You can go now. Yes, Captain. Oh, hey, Ferris. So, this is the new recruit, hmm? Yes, sir, Ferris. The Dread Pirate, reporting for duty. Pfft. 
Look at you, posture so perfect, so formal. Reminds me of when I was young and stupid. I love new recruits, don't you, Saska? Most certainly, Captain. At ease, recruit. No need for that wiggly waggling around here. You want formality? Go join the Royal Armies. I'm sure both kingdoms would love to have as many as possible. Fawthen or Krail? Take your pick. They're both as rigid as a nun in a... <laughs> I think the mercenaries suit me just fine, sir. Good. Now stop calling me sir. My name is Captain, dammit. Yes, Captain. The new recruits are always such yes-men, aren't they, Saska? I totally agree, Captain. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber. We're in the middle of morning reports. Ferris, come join. Gerard, you were saying something of supplies. The Rushlight proprietors are complaining that we're going through their food stocks too quickly. We're paying the bastards, aren't we? The base nightly amount for each man, yes. But they're complaining that we eat and drink twice as much as a normal man. Perhaps we should instruct troops to restrain themselves better. Do you realize how much the men would bitch then? Bunch of complainers they all are. Tell the innkeepers we'll pay a share and a half for each man. After we get paid for by both of our kingdom employers. Yes, Captain. Now that we've wiped the baby's butts, on to important things. What of the goddess's movements? Anything from the tower? Nothing new. Nothing to report. Of the tower itself, as for the enemy army encircling it, still no movement from them either. Hmm. Best we not let them become complacent. Sore chucks. I want you, you to take a small raiding party and harass their waterline along the river. In and out. Just enough to piss them off. With pleasure, Captain. Captain, I'd like to request to join in, in on that raid. Whatever for. I'm eager to see some action. Eager to bloody yourself, is that it? I'd like to prove my worth, Captain. I see. Well, young pup, the answer is no. But, I don't know you. Sore Chucks and her men don't know you. We don't know what kind of soldier you are. A raid like this is simple as long as you know what you're doing. But, if not, you can easily get yourself or others killed. You'll stay here with Saska, and she'll continue to show you the ropes. You're to be ready at all times in case of attack, during which you'll fight in formation with the rest of the troops. Yes, Captain. Well then, that should do it. I've got some whittling to do, or something equally droll. Okay then. You're all dismissed. You've got your orders. Maybe in time, I'll trust you with greater tasks. Okay, then. Hey, Ferris. What's up? Looks like Red finished up her work while we were in the meeting. If you want to see, you can. Oh, my. My god, what is this? Looks like Red was working on them all night. This is... HORRIFIC! I can barely recognize them anymore! What happened to their faces? Their eyes? Their hands? Their feet? And they've been cut open! And he's still alive. They're... They're alive! That's what Red does. Nobody knows how it works. But she, she uses some kind of chemicals to keep people alive, even through severe trauma like this. But they can feel everything. They'll die sometime today. I think you're starting to get a better understanding of why everyone avoids red now. Yes, I think so.
They say it's impossible for her to, her to experience joy from anything now. What you see here is the only thing that gives her pleasure. I don't know how a monster like that came to be, but Captain managed to recruit her one day. As horrible as she is, she's a necessity. I'm just glad she's on our side. Yeah. Well then, this is making me ill. I'll be back at the pub, the usual spot. Come and see me when you want to continue training. And I notice there's a third log here. Okay, I don't need to read that. Um. Ugh. Let's just go back to the inn, I suppose. And wow, look at the time. I'm almost out of time today. This, this was a longer than I thought it was, so hopefully I'm near the end. Hey, there you are. Alright, we got a whole day of basic training to do. You better have plenty of energy, because we're going to be working your butt off. Digging trenches, pulling water, setting up fortifications, fletching arrows. It won't be easy, but it's time to earn your keep. Yes. One whole grueling day passes by, followed by darkness of night. With it, the storm returns, more violently than ever, and once again, Ferris lays sleepless and restless. I'm never going to fall asleep. The storm is worse than ever. I can't stop thinking about her. Someone's got a crush! What she did to those men? It was unthinkable! How can someone end up being like her? So cruel, so sadistic. I have to know her story, I have to go to her. Storm or no, this is unbearable. I can't sleep. I can't think about anything else but her, I can't wait. Her tent was set up on the far east side of camp, on the outskirts. I've got to go do it. I've got to talk to her in person. Okay then, let's let's hurry over there, I suppose. Run, 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 or you'll be well done. I'm doing a search for Fisherman Carl. Everybody love that guy. It's awful he went. <laughs> um. Let's just go this way. I don't think it's I don't think you can actually call it dry in this weather, but I digress. Oh there! It is the outskirts of the camp. To the east is the wilderness and the tower of the goddess. Just north is a hill to the Red's tent. You really don't want to go to either one of them. Mm-hmm. Probably won't let me go that way. But I can go this way. Seems appropriate weather for meeting the giant. It's empty. I wonder where she could be. Right there. Oh... Hello? Who are you? And why are you in my tent? My name is Ferris. I recently joined up with ba Bartram's Ma. I've been trying to get to know all my new comrades, and I realize I haven't met you yet. So, well, here I am. How intimidating. So, your name is Red, I hear? You shouldn't have come here. Oh, well, I wanted to 
congratulate you for a job well done. I mean, earlier I saw your handiwork with Rhaegar. He was a real slime. I saw how you took care of him. He's dead now. He suffered for a long time, him and his friend. I made sure of that. Yes, well, it's good to know we have such a competent member of our force. I feel better knowing that. Shut up and stop wasting my time. Tell me why you're really here. Well, we're both soldiers. We both have stories to tell, I'm sure. I think we could learn much from each other's if we shared them. I mean, I couldn't sleep with this storm, and it doesn't look like you could, can either. Might as well keep each other company, right? <laughs> Maybe I could get something to... You're wrong. What? I said you're wrong. I'm sure you'd love to trade stories, but you're wrong on one thing. You have no stories to tell. You have nothing. There is nothing about you that is significant in the slightest. There is not a single interesting thing about you. You think you're a character, but you're not. You're nothing. You are less than a character. You're boring. Everything about you is boring. Your life is boring. Your face is boring. The way you talk, your mannerisms are boring. You carry yourself as if you are an experienced soldier, but you've done nothing in your life. You've never killed a man, have you? Of course you haven't, but you would like others to believe that you have. You're boring, and I hate boring people. You're a template that's been used at that. I get it, it's an RPG maker joke. To think you're a main character in this war, in this story, but you're just another repetitive face on the periphery of life trying to stay relevant. I know all this just by looking at you, and you know this too. You know it and it eats at you because you hate it. You're like a leech drawn to those of substance, eager to vicariously experience life and all its horrors through them. So no, you're wrong. We both do not have stories to sh share. Only I have stories to share. You knew this, and yet you still came into my tent to and lie to my face, disrespecting both me with your very breath. Close enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave you be. Hmm. <laughs> no. Despite how dreadful you are, you were right on one thing. Neither of us can sleep. Sleep is a difficult thing for me. So, a story you want from me? This I will give you. But not for free. I demand payment. And seeing as we already confirmed that you yourself have no stories to tell, I need something else. So I make this demand of you. Bring me a lock of hair from Anastasia, the frigid headmistress who whores at the rushlight. If you can convince her cold heart to open up, then you may possibly be worth my time. Now go. Uh. Okay, I'm not going to push my luck there. So then, Ferris, do you have what you requested? As, as it should happen. Ah, well done. She must have seen something in you to share her bed. You've shown some semblance of character then. Red lifts the lock of hair to her nose and inhales the scent with closed eyes. It smells of an overabundance of perfume, always seeking to mask the reality that lies underneath it all. But I digress. So, my story is what you ask for, and that's what I will give. Sit on the rug close to the candle and listen well, for you will learn things tonight that you will wish you did not know. And I'm out of time. So I'm gonna... Right, so I'm out of time. So I'm just gonna finish up this text tree, I guess? So I can save. In fact... Oh. But stay quiet, for I will now begin telling you why I feel pain and regret. 
Okay, that's that's quite convenient. In the full version of the game, the narrative and player control would transition to red in a different time and place. M more traditional RPG features would then come into play, including the including an overworld map, multiple towns, fighting elements, leveling up, learning skills, and purchasing weapons, while still focusing on story. Now, onto the credits, and back to the main menu! Game, Spanky, Music, RPG Maker Guy. Cool. And that was, let's look at this thing. So, until next time, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a nice day.